The presentation you are about to see describes the services provided by Odyssey House McGraw Foundation. My name is James Pitts. I'm the Chief Executive Officer. Odyssey House provides services to young men, women, and their dependent children whose lives have been adversely affected by their alcohol and other drug misuse. This presentation will describe the services provided to those. The first contact anyone has who is seeking to access the services at Odyssey House is at our Admissions and Intake Center located at 431 Elizabeth Street in Surrey Hills. Odyssey House Admissions and Intake Center. The center is close to I Central see, Station, which allows for easy access for those people traveling within the metropolitan area of Sydney. The Admissions and Intake Center is the clearinghouse for all people who are seeking to access the services. I actually came straight from prison to Odyssey, and before I was locked up, I had nothing to do with my parents from about the age of 13, 14. And even then, it wasn't a healthy relationship. This includes people who are on probation and parole, people who are referred through the criminal justice system, or from other referral sources. My name's Han Hoang. Um, I'm Vietnamese, and I came into Odyssey House about 10 months ago. The center is staffed by a contingent of paraprofessional staff, many of whom are senior residents within the Odyssey House program. Hi, I'm Mel, and this is assessment miles group that we're running here today. We have a, a very large staff team. Uh, the staff uh, have a range of differing qualifications from nursing backgrounds to uh, community development degrees to uh, uh, teachers, we have teachers who, who assist us with uh, training programs for the residents. We have uh, staff with drug and alcohol diplomas, certificate fours, and we also employ a number of uh, graduates of the Odyssey House program uh, on the staff team as well because we believe that their input into the program is a valuable addition to people who, who bring other expertise. We also have visiting psychiatrists and we have people, we have a a psychologist on the team as well. This allows individuals who are seeking admission to see firsthand the success of rehabilitation as they are being interviewed to determine the extent of their drug use as well as any legal matters they may have. The center has a legal liaison officer who is able to assist people who are entering the program to understand in more detail the ramification of legal issues they may have. Right, Odyssey also interviews prospective clients use. over the phone when well, circumstances prevent their ability to be interviewed in person. Issues, psychiatric issues, any legal issues you're having, because after this we may need you to send us some documents um, about that stuff. We are going to need photocopies of your Medicare cards sent to us, proof of income statement from Centrelink, photocopy of... In addition, Medicare. there's an administrator who oversees the day-to-day -day operation and coordinates all of the activities and communications between the AIC, as it is known, and any professional bodies including solicitors, the court system, as well as probation and parole officers. So can I go to rehab after that? Yep. We've got all your paperwork. It's actually all been approved. So when you finish detoxing, you've got the option to go to rehab if you want to. The individual seeking admission to the program has an opportunity to ask questions while going through the interviewing process. At the conclusion of the process, and if the person is deemed eligible to enter the program, they are then admitted as soon as possible. The assessment process for, uh, for both detox and residential program can be a little bit involved. We're going to be doing all your paperwork here to induct you. All of your clothes and the stuff you've brought with you is going to be searched and we're going to be doing the admission fee. We try and work as closely as we possibly can with potential uh, residents of the program to make the process um, as smooth as we can for them. However, we do have some paperwork requirements paperwork that have to be met to ensure that we are able, go, yeah. we have sufficient information to be able to adequately meet the needs of potential clients. So we can be a little bit pushy about paperwork, but it's all to the client's benefit in the long run. And treatment. Uh, what I'll need is for you to sign some documents, uh, such as legal documents and medical release forms. We try and make the process as short as we possibly can. Um, we just, you know, we do the best we can with that, but uh, we're hoping that this video will help shed some light on that as well. We require that all individuals who come to Odyssey House for admission have appropriate identification, including a birth certificate, where possible a driver's license, 
or a Medicare or health care benefits card. This assists us in processing all Centerlink payments, which is mandatory in order for people to participate in the residential component of the program. It is important individuals who work at the admissions center ensure the safety of the program by discouraging the entry to the program of any substances which are not approved by the staff at Odyssey. What's supposed to be in here is 28 items of clothing, um, shoes, thongs for the shower, the next this step for an individual supplied. entering the program following the admissions process is and to travel the to the MacArthur area of Sydney to attend the assessment and okay. referral center. Nothing with any beer labels or any marijuana leaves or anything is able to be taken in. Oh, okay. I know. 